Throughout his big league career, Jay Bell was quite the decent ball player. In his 18 seasons at the major league level, he became a two-time All-Star, a Silver Slugger, a Gold Glover, and he amassed nearly 200 career home runs. But in addition to being a decent ball player on the field, he was also really good at being at the right place at the right time. For example, you may know that Luis Gonzalez got the game-winning hit of the 2001 World Series, but you may not know that it was Jay Bell who scored the winning run. That being said, this is probably best illustrated by the most memorable moment of his career, when he hit a home run so improbable that you can compare it to winning the lottery, quite literally. This is the story of the Million Dollar Grand Slam. This is Sports Oddity. The year was 1999. The expansion Arizona Diamondbacks were entering their second year of existence, and owner Jerry Colangelo was looking for ways to keep their fan excitement at an all-time high. He did so by bringing in a ton of talent for the 1999 season, including Steve Finley, Luis Gonzalez, and eventual Cy Young winner Randy Johnson. In addition to Matt Williams and the aforementioned Jay Bell, the 99 squad would end up winning 100 games and take their first division title in the process. But in addition to putting a good squad out on the field, he also wanted to keep fan engagement high because most fans in Arizona already had a favorite MLB team, and they were running the risk of people losing interest. So he also put in place a bunch of promotions throughout 1999 but perhaps none of them was as ambitious or as memorable as Grand Slam Sundays. Here's how it worked. Fans from all across Arizona would call into participating radio stations for a chance to be entered into a drawing. This drawing would then happen before every single Arizona home game in the 1999 season, and if you were chosen, you would get a chance to participate in the promotion. The game itself was fairly simple. Before the game begins, you would pick a Diamondbacks player and an inning. And if that Diamondbacks player were to hit a Grand Slam in that specific inning, you would win $1 million. It sounds easy enough, but as you might imagine, the odds of this actually happening are astronomical, as this statistician explains. Okay, with Jay Bell's history, it appears that the odds really are 1 in 1,413 of her uh, selecting correctly. It's somewhat like taking four dice and saying beforehand, and that's the key, beforehand, that I'm going to throw four sixes. And you roll it, and it's four sixes. You never have any other chances. That's your only chance you're ever going to do that and, that, and you roll it. Actually, her selecting was harder than that. So while a million dollars was quite a bit of money, the Diamondbacks had no problem finding a sponsor for this promotion. After all, with odds like those, there's almost no way that they'd actually have to pay out that million dollar prize. Right? Right? Eileen Hoyle has chosen Jay Bell to hit a grand slam this inning. But as it got closer and she was trying to decide, you know, and it, it Matt Williams, who do we pick, whatever, I just told her to pick Jay Bell in the sixth inning. Jay Bell, in the, is that how the story goes? Yes. Just a random Jay Bell. Just a random. We didn't know any of the players. We never been, never watched a game, never been to a game. Did you dream at all? Did you, in the back of your mind, think, okay, what if this happens? No, because I was more excited about taking my kids to a baseball game. <laughs> because we, I mean, at the time, I mean, we were living paycheck to paycheck. Sure. And so it was just, here we go. Now, as far as that pick was concerned, especially for not knowing any of the players beforehand, Jay Bell was about as good a pick as any especially in that 1999 season. See, up until that point, Jay Bell was a pretty average hitter. Every season he'd hit around 280 or so and he'd put up about 10 to 15 home runs. But for whatever reason in 1998, he went off on a massive power surge and he led the 1999 Diamondbacks with 38 home runs. 
So if you were going to a Diamondbacks game and wanted to predict a home run, Jay Bell was probably your best bet in that 1999 season. You see him shaking his head there. He says, hey, I should be up here. I should be winning somebody some money. Did you still at any point say, man, a little bit? No, because at the beginning of the sixth inning, he was the seventh batter. I was going to bring what, that up. What are the odds that he is going to actually get up? On that day, July 11th, the Diamondbacks were hosting the Athletics for an interleague matchup at Bank One Ballpark. It was the last game for both teams before the All-Star break, and heading into that fateful sixth inning, the Diamondbacks were trailing the Athletics 3-2. At that point, Jay Bell was scheduled to hit seventh in the inning. So unfortunately for Guyleen, it looked like it was going to be a pretty slim chance that he was going to get a chance to hit, let alone hit a grand slam. But then, something incredible happened. Steve Finley led off the inning with a double. Travis Lee grounded out and hit him to third base. David DeLucci then scored Finley on a double. Damian Miller walked. Omar Dahl bunted him over to second. And then Tony Womack walked, bringing up Jay Bell with the bases loaded and two outs with the chance to have the at-bat of his life. To his credit, Jay Bell worked an amazing at-bat. He fouled off a couple of really good pitches as well as laid off a few that were really close to the zone. And eventually, he worked his way into a full count. So, facing a 3-2 count with two outs and the bases loaded, on the seventh pitch of the at-bat, Jay Bell finally got his pitch. And he did not miss. Runners go. A deep drive. Left field. Way back. Warning trap. Wow. You can touch them all, Jay Bell. It's a grand slam, and he does it again. Now, you have to remember that at this time, there were no bat flips. There were no celebrations. Those kinds of things would get you hit. So the amount of emotion that both Bell and his teammates are showing here is quite noticeable. But it's also quite clear that they aren't just celebrating going ahead in the game, they're celebrating what Bell just did for the lady in the stands. Just listen to Steve Finley as Bell returns to the dugout after the slam. And he did. Despite all of the odds facing him and her alike, he was able to write a storybook ending and hit a million dollar grand slam. I think it was probably the first time that I ever uh, showed any emotion on a home run. Even the mild man of Jake Bell gets a little fired up over that one. It's the most expensive swing in Major League history and something that we might never see the likes of again both due to the number of odds at play here and due to promotions people not wanting to take that chance ever again. It's not very often that baseball players get to say that their work on the field genuinely changes lives, but in Jay Bell's case, he can definitely say that he changed someone's life forever. One of the best moments both in the history of the Arizona Diamondbacks and in the career of Jay Bell. Thank you for watching this episode of Sports Oddity. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like this video and subscribe down below if you're new. Also, if you're in the mood for more baseball content, be sure to check us out on our website, readthediamond.com, and follow us on social media, at the Diamond US on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.